returning now to our top story, the knife attack in Japan. I'm joined by TRT World's Sandra Gatman, who was born and raised in Japan. Now, Sandra, thank you for coming on. So this is a very unusual crime for Japan, isn't it? Absolutely. It's the largest mass killing in Japan, actually, uh, since its post-war history. More people died in this single killing spree than uh, the 12 lives who were claimed in the infamous sarin gas attack on the Tokyo subway back in 1995. But this is particularly horrifying. Many people, of course, know Japan as one of the safest countries in the world, due, of course, to its strict gun laws. Police officers on the streets aren't even allowed to carry uh, arms. But of course, all of that means that knives are used, not only by criminals, but in domestic incidents as well. And there have been isolated uh, stabbings uh, in homes across Japan on the streets every year. But that is, of course, uh, kept uh, in confinement. Mm -hmm. There isn't a history of terrorism in Japan. And many people are horrified that this incident involves victims with disabilities. So people are truly shocked. So in culturally, uh, Japan has a great deal of respect for the disabled and the elderly, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think Japan is considered as having the best care system in the world, both for the elderly and for disabled people. And the fact that a former employee was able to uh, breach security, enter these homes, uh, tie up staff and carry out 19 murders, injuring several dozens of others is truly shocking uh, for many Japanese people. I think it's a complex culture in Japan. Many people uh, consider and are proud of the fact that they have the best care for disabled people in the world. But there is also, sadly, a culture of shame. I think many will agree that, in a sense, many of these people with disabilities are kept isolated from the rest of society. So uh, it's a very uh, sensitive time in Japan right now. Many people are wondering uh, why there isn't better security at uh, these care homes. Um, there is a stigma associated with um, people with mental disabilities. Mm. For instance, I remember when living in Japan, next to my school, there were plans to build a mental asylum. And there were real anxieties about the dangers that these um, patients uh, really were going to pose to the neighborhood. Of course, this is more complicated in the sense that this perpetrator of this particular crime was uh, admitted to a mental hospital himself. He was able to get out and carry out this atrocious killing spree. It's a really sad crime. Well, Sandra, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.